Time now for the morning rush. We start with meteorologist Kristen Curry. Good morning. Nothing out there when it comes to rain or snow today. It's just a full sky of sunshine and overnight into tomorrow. Same thing. Clear sky, so cold morning, but sunny skies for Friday and even into Saturday with no big weather maker until Saturday night and through Sunday morning. Fernanda. Happening. Happening today, the man charged in the brutal torture and murder of a 13 year old boy in Nambe is expected in court for his arraignment. Thomas Ferguson is charged with first degree murder in the death of Jeremiah Valencia. A grand jury indicted Ferguson on 18 charges, all but one, including that first degree murder charge. Ferguson is the boyfriend of Valencia's mother. He's accused of beating the boy in their Nambe home, keeping him locked up in a dog kennel and eventually burying his body near the highway where the other cases stand in who are the people in, accused in this crime coming up in the five facts crystal in light of a shooting at a florida school rio rancho public schools is holding a panel discussion on school and student safety the district has received many concerns and questions from parents school officials say parents have asked about metal detectors searching bags the current procedures in place, and what happens when a student gets in trouble. To answer those questions, school officials, Rio Rancho PD, a juvenile probation officer, and a district court judge will be sitting on the panel. The discussion will take place here at the school boardroom starting at 6.30 tonight. Back to you. Happening today, President Trump is scheduled to have another meeting on school safety. The president is already making some waves in the gun control debate. He went against Republicans and the NRA, calling for new age restrictions and tighter background checks. Now, Trump even went as far as to accuse some law lawmakers of being scared of the NRA. On to news happening right now. We're still waiting for word as to when White House Communications Director Hope Hicks will officially step down. She announced her resignation yesterday. That announcement comes a day after Hicks testified behind closed doors before the House Intelligence Committee. Sources say she told the committee her work for the president required her to tell, quote, white lies. However, she says she never lied about Russia. President Trump praised Hicks for doing what he called great work over the last few years. Happening now, the trial for a New Mexico district attorney is expected to begin in June. This after a judge dismissed and changed some of the charges she's facing. At a motion hearing yesterday, Las Cruces Judge Douglas Driggers dismissed one ethics charge against Grant County DA Francesca Estevez. He also changed two other counts to harassment. Estevez is accused of reckless driving, stemming from this 2016 video showing her state owned car weaving all over a highway outside of Silver City. Also happening right now, the governor, Susana Martinez, taking action on legislation less than a week before her deadline. This includes vetoing a bill giving pay raises to politicians. That was Senator John Arthur Smith. He sponsored the Senate Bill 176. Uh, Senator Smith's bill would have spent $108,000 a year on pay increases for politicians like statewide elected officials and the PRC. New at 6, the governor is also signing several bills into law. According to the journal, she's already signed 23 bills. Now, this includes five measures aimed at helping military veterans and their families. It also includes House Bill 47, expanding eligibility for the Family Assistance Program. Now, this helps pay for things like food, rent, and utilities in financial emergencies. On to news happening today, UNM is welcoming its new president while making history. She will be the first woman to hold the position. Garnett Stokes comes from the University of Missouri, where she was the provost and executive vice chancellor of academic affairs. She accepted a five-year contract with a $400,000 salary. The decision comes more than a year after former President Bob Frank stepped down. Looking ahead this morning, former state Senator Phil Griego will begin serving his prison sentence next week. Griego was sentenced to a year and a half in prison after being found guilty of charges of bribery, fraud, and unlawful interest in a public contract. Now, Griego pushed the sale of a state-owned building through the roundhouse while he collected a $50,000 brokerage fee. He has been ordered to surrender to the Corrections Department by the end of the day, and that's on March 9th. Kristen? Today's Metro Threat Index added one for some chilly temperatures we have out there this morning. Pretty quiet weather today, though, this afternoon. Sunny skies, high temperatures getting back into the 50s. Winds 5 to 15 with nothing but sunshine overhead. Crystal? On to new news this morning. Researchers at Yale say patients with stage 3 colon cancer who eat nuts are at a much lower risk of having their cancer recur or dying from their illness. Now, doctors tracked more than 800 patients. They found survival rates jumped 46% for those eating at least two ounces of almonds, walnuts, or other tree nuts every single week. 
And you might not know it, but the beautiful St. Francis Cathedral in Santa Fe was never finished. Before the landmark was built in the mid-1800s, the church was just an adobe building. Now you can see in the original design, it had two spires on the top of the bell towers, including a dome in the back. Construction of the cathedral started in 1869 and was continued until 1887. Time now for a check on traffic. We do have a crash to report to you this morning at westbound Montgomery at Louisiana, so heads up there. Also, as of this morning, Louisiana southbound is closed at Comanche due to construction. That will be closed for at least the next week. On to this. Happy birthday, Yellowstone National Park. Today, it's your birthday. The world's first national park made its debut on March 1st, 1872. That makes it, oh, 146 years young. The Yellowstone National Park Protection Act was signed into law by then President Ulysses S. Grant. That protected more than 2 million acres of land, including mountains, geysers, and even landscapes. How cool is that? White Sands is becoming a hot spot for celebrities. Ozzy Osbourne's children, Jack and Kelly, recently visited the National Monument. In a post on social media, Jack wrote, I just had the most amazing time in White Sands National Monument. I've never seen anything like this place. America is an amazing country. White Sands was the backdrop for other celebrities, including a GQ photo shoot last year with Brad Pitt. Huh. That didn't even look like Jack. <laughs> I wouldn't have recognized him at a grocery store. All right, look at this. New at 630 swag bags are an Oscar tradition. This year, the gifts are worth at least $100,000. That does include trips to Tanzania, Hawaii, and Greece, edible jewelry made out of chocolate, and this 23andMe genetic service. Also, uh, luxurious diamonds, conflict-free Netflix. Wow. Yeah, want one of those. Oh, that's yeah. kind of bizarre. The 23andMe genetic uh, DNA test, you wouldn't think that'd be in a swag bag. <laughs> yeah, they get everything. <laughs> All right, time for the five facts. We start with number five. So three UNM student journalists could be heading to Las Vegas soon. They're just about $400 short from reaching their goal to cover their trip to the Mountain West basketball attorney. A GoFundMe account was set up after the Daily Lobo could not cover their cost. The goal is to raise $2,000, the Daily Lobo says. It wants to make it clear the money raised will not be put back in the paper. It's going toward the trip. The basketball tourney does begin next week. And at number four, in the wake of the Florida school shooting, Rio Rancho Public Schools are holding a panel discussion with school officials, law enforcement, even members of the court system. It's all to discuss changes in school and student safety. A recent online post threatened a shooting at Rio Rancho High School, even naming two specific buildings. Now, the discussion begins tonight at 6.30. Anyone looking to attend must submit their questions. At number three, warmer temperatures here in the metro today with a mostly sunny sky on top. Breezy to windy conditions coming in for the weekend, but at this point, no significant rain or snow for Albuquerque. Number two, now the man accused of killing two roommates and dumping their bodies is expected to appear in court. The police say the public helped them ID 32-year-old James Knight as a man seen on surveillance video using a credit card from one of the victims. Police say Eugene Carroll Ray and Zachariah Fry disappeared on January 19th. Their bodies were discovered in Santa Fe County recently. Detectives uh, still trying to figure out a motive in this. And at number one, the man charged in the brutal torture and murder of a 13-year-old boy in Nambe is expected in court today for his arraignment. Thomas Ferguson is facing a slew of charges relating to the murder of Jeremiah Valencia. Ferguson was the boyfriend of Valencia's mother and is accused of badly beating the boy to death. A grand jury indicted Ferguson on the first-degree murder and a slew of other charges. Valencia's mother and Tracy Pena and Ferguson's son, Jordan Nunez, are also charged in the murder for allegedly failing to stop it. Well,